So you read the title, so let's get right into things. Today I'm going to be making a team for Ben TDM made of all of his different Pokemon teams from everything he's ever done pretty much. But first I want to set some ground. So for starters, there's a lot of legendary Pokemon, and I think it would be lame to just make a team of entire legendaries, and also it wouldn't be exactly perfect. I'm going to have a limit on how many it is. It'll really just depend on how the team ends up being. And secondarily, no duplicates. He has his fair share of Pokemon that are in the same line, or the exact same for that matter. And I don't want a ton of the same Pokemon in the same team, because that would suck. So there's six different series that I'm going to be looking at today for Dan's different teams. The first of which being from a short series he did on a Minecraft mod called Pokemobs. This team consists of Gary the Ghastly, Shelled the Shelder, Squirt the Glass Toys, Zubat the Zubat, and Bulba the Venusaur, along with Paul the Arcanine. Additionally, I'd like to mention that um, we can knock out Gary here because uh, there's several Gengars that he has later on, and those are obviously better than Gary here. Additionally, Zelda evolved, so obviously being a non fully evolved Pokemon disqualifies you. The same goes for Zubat here. Um, and I'm going to keep Bulbasaur and Paul in the list for now. So next we're going to be looking at his team from his Pixelmon series, personally my favorite team of his. So this is the point where we're going to see me giving a bit of favoritism here. Some of these Pokemon are just not named. For example, his Blossom and Flygon don't have an interesting name, but Luna the Lantern does. Gengar being an exception here because I feel like he's picked this Pokemon enough times for me to feel like he should be on the team, at least in some respect, a Gengar should be on the team. He also has his Gyarados, which though it is not named, is shiny, so very much obviously means something to him. Additionally, he has another Gyarados on his next team. And lastly, of course, his Zapdos, which I feel like has to be on the team, just based upon how he was so connected to it in his Pixelmon series. So then his Pokemon Let's Go team has a Gyarados as I mentioned, I'm going to be taking the name of and giving to the shiny Gyarados, but getting rid of the this unshiny one, simply because I feel like combining them into one Gyarados uh, not only narrows our list, but allows for like a double reference if we so choose to include Gyarados. Then he has a Mewtwo, a legendary Pokemon, so even though it's not named, it'll be in the running. Another Venusaur uh, seems to be one of those more content for him. Another Gengar, which I'm going to remove one of, simply because we only need one. And from there he has a partner Pikachu and a Mew named Peanut. So his partner Pikachu Buzz is probably going to be on the team considering partner Pikachu, especially with the light ball, is uh, one of the strongest Pokemon, period. And I'm going to be for now leaving Peanut in the running, even though Mew isn't the strongest Pokemon, simply because it's a legendary. The next is his Sword and Shield team, which has a Corviknight, a Zerfet, a Zacian Crown, a Mr. Rhyme, a Center Scorch, and a Eternatus. Additionally, he also got a few more members of this team when he did the Isle of Armor, being a Blastoise and an Urshiku. We're going to be removing the Blastoise, though, because we already have support the Blastoise from earlier. And so, the rest of these are... I feel like he has a very close relationship with this team in particular. He really enjoyed this one, and it has a lot of interesting picks on it. So I feel like I can't really remove them immediately without and feeling bad about it. And next are some ones I picked from his card deck for when he did some professional Pokemon card tournament. And immediately a lot of these guys are going to be removed because they either aren't evolved or aren't very good. For example, his Squirtle, not a very good Pokemon. His Vibarrel, though Vibarrel is a Pokemon that's okay in my books, I feel like it has to be removed simply because it doesn't meet a certain level of strength here. Uh, the same goes for his Cromorant and his Comfy. I'm going to keep Greninja on the list simply because Greninja is a strong Pokemon, and his Halucha and Snorlax are probably going to have to bite the bullet simply because I don't think they're particularly very strong, and I don't think he has a particularly strong emotional attachment to them. So I'm going to be keeping his Giratina on for now simply because uh, that was the main show, you know, showstopper of his hard deck, um, along with Arceus for now. He got to turn this very late into the game in his run through of Sword and Shield, so I don't think it's particularly uh, very emotionally attached. Additionally, it's a legendary, and I'm going to be doing the same for Mewtwo and Mew. He did have Mew for a long time, however, I don't think it's going to be a very good competitive asset. So now we're going to be uh, rounding some out by type. So, for example, um, he has multiple Venusaur, so I'm going to be getting rid of his Blossom, because we have a dual 
grass type Pokemon that will be filling its place already. As I said earlier, we're keeping Zapdos, and here I'm running into a bit of a wall though because I don't know whether to keep Squirt or his Gyarados. I feel like Gyarados is a far more important member of the two teams it was on than Squirt, so sadly Squirt is going to have to be removed from the list in favor of our Money Money Lady Gyarados being the water type of the team. Well, here a choice is Zapdos versus the partner Pikachu. Now the partner Pikachu has a very close bond with the trainer, however I feel like uh, Dan Zapdos actually sort of has that same level of uh, connection. Uh, but regardless, this means that I'm going to have to remove Luna from the list simply because I don't feel like Luna, even though Zach, even though Dan has a close connection with Luna, I feel like Luna is not really worthy of being on the team uh, when compared to these two that he has a far closer bond with, and even if not a closer bond with, at least are more powerful. From there, I'm also going to be, be getting rid of his Flygon and Paul because I feel like his Center Scorch is a better fight type anyway than Paul and his Flygon isn't really the best of the best. But even though the partner Pikachu is technically stronger, I feel like obviously, as I said earlier, his Zapdos has a very close connection and also his Pixelon series is by far probably his most popular of all of these series. So I'm going to be getting rid of Buzz, sadly, in place of Zapdos being the electric type of the team. So currently we have four members of the team that are in place. His Venusaur, his Gengar, his Gyarados, and his Zapdos, along with his Santa Scorch. But five different team members. I'm going to be removing the Greninja because we already have the Gyarados on the team, along with Corviknight because we already have Zapdos as a flying type. I'm going to be removing Surfax because, frankly speaking, Urshifu is a better fighting type. I'm going to be removing Mr. Rhyme simply because I don't feel like it has very good type synergy with the rest of the team. And I'm going to be removing Giratina and Arceus simply because I feel like they don't provide enough of a, an emotional connection or really anything else to the team here. So now the competition is between Urshifu and Zacian Crown. I feel like Zacian will be better for competitive purposes, and so I'm going to be getting rid of Urshifu, Urshifu in favor of Zacian. And so now, our full team of six is Venusaur, Gengar, Gyarados, Zapdos, Zacian, and Sentasquatch. So now I'm going to be giving them different moves and different attacks and everything, and then we're gonna try it out. So I did some testing with this team with my friend Cars. I freaking hate Zacian! And we did five rounds total. Won three out of the five, and I noticed that every time I won, I won with four Pokemon, while the two times that Cars won, Cars only won with two left. So based on these findings, it seems that Dan's team is pretty damn good. However, this is actually where you come in. I need a wider sample size for this evidence to really be conclusive. If you've ever used Pokemon Showdown before, I need your help here. The team is in the description of this video, and I need you to go up against your friends and see how strong the team really is. Have your friends make whatever team it'll actually make the sample more reliable, and go up against them. This will allow for lots of different measurements of skill, which we kinda need because I might just be better than my friend at Pokemon. So then after you've tested this, go to the community page of my channel, and go to the post that I presumably have linked in the description of this video as well, and answer the questions on how much you want. This is technically a part of a larger series on my channel, in which I power scale YouTubers based on different feats and stuff. And I'll have a section in like a season finale of sorts where I go over any mistakes I may have made and then I'll use the results of the community post to see how well I did and how strong Dan's team is. I'll also be updating the comment whenever the community post is done with the results so that people in the future don't have to click the link. But anyway, I have been Eris and I would like to wish you all a wonderful day and I would please like to ask you to like and subscribe! <laughs>